did you outline a review for the wedding? I just can't even do this. I really have no quick thoughts, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. I love the flash forward opening as we see Claire and Frank just moments before they're about to get married. Oh! And then it switches to Claire getting married to Jamie, and she doesn't look as enthusiastic as she was with Frank, which is understandable. But it was only the beginning which led to the wedding night. Holy crap. First of all, I love that the whole episode was the wedding nights and the flashbacks leading to the wedding night. So good. And whose heart didn't melt when Jimmy said to Claire about their wedding day? It was like I stepped out on a cloudy day and suddenly the sun came out. I also love the part where Claire just kept on drinking to relax herself, you know, she's just like, okay, and Jamie's like, uh, uh, okay, you drink quite a bit, woman. Even Adam made a point on Twitter, Claire drinks quite a bit, doesn't she? And I was like, yes, she totally does. And just sort of made me laugh this episode, I was like, here she goes again, drinking. But in this case, I think it's understandable. Even I would be drinking and I don't even drink. I love that Jamie told Claire where he could obviously see that she was very nervous that he wouldn't force himself on her. Not that she thought he would, but it's good to know. And on top of that, he later revealed that the reason why he married her was to protect her. I mean, how can you not love him? I mean, I, right? How? It's just, it's just impossible. Of course, it wouldn't be an Outlander episode without Rupert and Angus just barging into the room, hoping to find them in action. That was a great moment. It just kind of also reminds you of where you are and what this wedding is. Speaking of action, the whole part and everything following Jamie taking off the corset. Swoon! Swoon! Like a million swoons! Oh my god! I, I just can't even. I was literally watching going, I just can't even with this show. I just can't even with this show. It was sexy to say the least. And I think that Claire is going to be able to teach Davey quite a few things when she has no idea how lucky he is. That's all I'll say about that. Unfortunately, there had to be more to ruin the fun and Dougal... See, I knew. I knew I wasn't too sure about him. Because on the one hand, yes, he did protect Clara by making her marry Jamie. On the other hand, he kind of proposed to her. Like, on her wedding night. What the hell? It seems that he's quite taken by her, even though he might not want to admit it. But this is the second time that he tries to get with her. So, yeah, Jamie better be careful. I almost wanted Claire to tell Jamie. I was like, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. It's twice now. But we're probably saving that up for later on. One thing's for sure, if Dougal ever really pursues Claire, I don't think Jamie's really gonna like it. Because as he told her, she's very precious to him. And he will not be happy. And I think that his loyalties might be wavered if you try to mess with his wife. So, yeah, drama! Finally, I just love, love the imagery at the end of Claire wearing the two rings. It just illustrates this whole episode perfectly of her being in this place where she kind of has to do certain things to survive, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that she doesn't still love Frank and wishes she could go back to him. It's just so complex and so conflicting, and it's like, even I'm like, I mean, Jamie's awesome, but Frank, even I'm conflicted between Jamie and Frank, you know? I mean, this show, it just gets better and better and better every week. I'm not even gonna say that this is my favorite episode anymore because each week, the new episode is my favorite because it just gets getting better. So let's just say that I love the show and I just can't wait for next week, which, oh my God, is the finale, because they're breaking the first season in two parts, so we're getting the next eight episode next year. Yeah. How horrible is this? Just as, I mean, I how are we gonna survive without Outlander is my question. And I'm really worried about how they're gonna leave us next week, because I don't know if my heart can handle it. 
But let's not worry about that now because we still have one more episode and of course I want to hear from you guys about what you thought from this episode. Did you freak out as much as I did? Are you in love with Jamie? I mean, who wouldn't be, right? So let me know in the comments. Of course, make sure to subscribe to Happy Cool so you don't miss my Outlander reviews. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god.